A big thank you goes out to Squarespace for their continued support of this channel. Thinking of putting together a website? Make your next move with Squarespace. Hello, hello everybody. I hope you're all doing great. Not a bad way to start the day. Uh, Gordon Bay in, uh, on Cowichan Lake. Uh, I've been here a few times and I've done a couple of videos in the past. One with Gavin and uh, one on my own. I think I came here the day after and vlogged it again. You may recall, I'll leave the, uh, the links to the videos up here but you may recall that I, uh, I photographed this wonderful island here and I used like a 10 stop uh, ND filter to kind of smooth everything out. Now I've come back here today with a, another friend of mine, uh, Brian Barnum. I'm not sure where Brian has gone. He has a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link up here if you'd like to go and check it out. Brian is uh, another Brit. Uh, that's uh, moved over to, <laughs> to Canada. He lives in Vancouver and uh, we met a couple of years ago at Art Vancouver and got chatting and uh, he's finally made it over to the island so I'm just showing him around. But um, the, uh, the conditions this morning are absolutely spectacular. I have cheated a little bit this morning. We got here just as the sun was coming up so it was a little bit of a rush and uh, I've taken my photographs already and uh, of course now it's starting to get a little bit harsh, but I'll go over my compositions with you. You just have to bear in mind that I've already taken the shots. But uh, it, it poured with rain yesterday uh, in Parksville where I live, but then we looked at the weather reports and the weather looked really good for today. So I figured, well, if we're gonna get rain and then sunny days, and then it's supposed to cool down a little bit, then there's a good chance for fog and of course, that's what we're getting here. So Gordon Bay was my first thought with these little islands here. So the compositions that I've taken this morning uh, are somewhat sim similar to what I took last time, except this time the water levels are quite a bit lower. So there's a couple of islands here uh, that weren't here last time I was here. So I've taken kind of panos of the middle island the little rock island in the foreground, and then half of the island uh, over here. I'll show you what I have, and uh, and then I'll show you I'll show you the raw files first, and then I'll show you the the finished uh, images. All right. Okay. So I've decided to do this as a sixteen by nine, and basically all I'm doing is I'm taking a, a, a JPEG and a raw file and the JPEG will be cropped, but the raw file won't be, so I'll, have to, I'll actually have to crop it in, uh, in Photoshop or Lightroom. And so I've decided to include this island here. Now, it does seem a little bit off balance to me in that, so we have this island down on the, on the kind of right lower side here, but it seems a little bit empty in here, but I, I don't know, I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not. There is a little bit of a rock island out here and I have come up the hill a little bit so that this front island here isn't merging with the islands in the background. If I go closer to the shoreline, so I'm more at eye level, 
then this island here starts to merge in there. So that's something to keep in mind. Even though we're standing at a scene and you know by just looking at it that, you know, okay, well, that island is in front of that one. You have to remember that we're, we're trying to make, uh, you know, basically a one-dimensional image into something that looks three-dimensional. Whoops. And the way to do that is to actually try and separate things uh, so it's, it's clearer to the viewer. And of course, the, vo the, the fog really helps in, in this image. So I have the large trees on the, on the left and then the little islands on the right. I think, I think it might work. I'm just going to take a bunch of different variations. Actually, the light is quite bright right now, but uh, the sun is over to the, to the left. So I am somewhat avoiding the sunlight. Uh, something else that I'm doing is I've put on a six stop ND filter. Just want to flatten that water out just a little bit. Uh, this is similar to those images that I took in the, in the Canadian Rockies. I find the, the ripples on the water are distracting. So by flattening them out a little bit, by using a, a longer shutter speed, uh, it just defines those islands better and, and the trees. Um, and I'll probably take a few variations of this as we go along. Right, once again, a big thank you goes out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Are you in the market for a stylish and contemporary looking website? A website that is simple to set up and even easier to update on the fly? Squarespace offers a multitude of award-winning templates to work with that will dazzle your audience. Not only is a website from Squarespace easier to set up, but if you find yourself in a pickle, no problem. Squarespace offers unprecedented online support. So what are you waiting for? Present your photography to the world with a website from Squarespace. For a free trial, go to squarespace.com. And if you like what you find, go to squarespace.com. Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. That's right. Squarespace.com. Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. Hello everybody, another fine day on Vancouver Island. Uh, new location today, uh, never been to this area. Just kind of heard about it through uh, Gavin and, uh, and I saw an image on Facebook, I believe. Uh, it's called Oyster River and the highway is right in front of me here. There's a, an overpass over the river and there's a little trail that comes down. It's just below the bridge here. And there's some absolutely fantastic uh, potholes and rock formations uh, within the river here. So I'm here with uh, Gavin and uh, a friend of mine, uh, Brian. And uh, we just thought we'd come and explore the area. Now, I must admit, I'm having a, a really hard time finding a composition here. It's really neat looking, 
uh, but you can't really wade into the river very far because there's, you've got these rock shelves. So you'll have a, a shallow shelf and then it goes down uh, quite deep, probably about 15 feet, and then you get another shelf. So I've been searching around the top here and I think I might have found a composition looking down. Uh, it's going to be a, a pano because I'm trying to eliminate the stuff around the patterns and it's really hard to do that. Like the, the, the shore on the other side there isn't that interesting and this side isn't that interesting really either. So I'm just elongating the central portion because that's the most interesting. I uh, definitely have to use a polarizer here because if I don't, then I just get a reflection of the white sky uh, and you can't see the pattern very well at all. There's also uh, some bubbles that are swirling around. Unfortunately, they're all kind of to the right side of the, uh, of the image. I was hoping that I could try and compose something so I could get the bubbles flowing throughout the image, but uh, it's not working out too well that way. But I am slowing the shutter speed a little bit so you get some patterns in there, which is kind of neat. The, uh, the right side of the photograph, I'm definitely going to have to burn in a little bit because it's quite a bit brighter than the midsection. Why don't, why don't I just show you what I have on the back of the camera? It'd probably be easier to explain that way. All right, so hopefully you can see this, but uh, you'll see like a, a bit of a tongue of rock coming down. And that's the part that I really, really love. So I've got it just coming to the edge of the frame because I need the water to, to get past it. So I have a bit of a gap at the bottom there. And then of course we have all these, whoops, we have all of these potholes surrounding, surrounding the tongue here. The only part that um, is a little bit disturbing is this corner here. You'll notice that the rock is quite a bit um, brighter but what I'll probably try and do is just tone that down with a bit of burning in and, and dodging this area just to equalize out the light a little bit. There's also the bubbles are coming in from the right here. And of course, with the exposure that I have, which is around 15 to 20 seconds, that's just a long streak. So I'll just keep taking a bunch of different images because the streak is different every time. But uh, with the color of the water and the, and the streak, uh, I think it looks pretty good. I'm using a Breakthrough Photography uh, six-stop uh, ND circular polarizer. And I'll, just, and I'll just take some variations of this scene, uh, including whole potholes and then maybe half of them and, and so on. But yeah, I think, uh, I think it'll work out really well. Right, I think I found another composition. It, I mean, it's more or less a, a variation on the same theme. Uh, I've walked up and down the river a little bit and I, I'm pretty sure that this is the best um, uh, location or the best area with the, with the most interesting rock formations. But again, we have the, the tongue of the, uh, of the rock formation. Now this time I can't get the bubbles in, but again, I'm using a polarizer to get rid of that glare off the water. Um, and also it really richens the, uh, the green in the water as well. This is kind of a neat composition. I'm trying to avoid the, uh, the background slope because I don't find it, it that interesting other than there's some dead trees that are kind of lying on a slab of rock. And I've included them in a couple of other images and I'll, I'll post those as well. But yeah, it's a, it's a really cool uh, location and I think it works really well in the, in the pano. So uh, yeah, we'll see. I, I think I prefer the one at the uh, above though, but I think this will work as well.
tired everybody. That's the only problem with uh, going on these short trips with uh, Photo Tripper and uh, Brian is that uh, it's hard to keep a straight face for any kind of photography. I never get anything done. But it's, it's been a laugh today. Uh, I think I've got a couple of good images. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to looking at them on a computer. Uh oh, oh God, here they come. <laughs> is this an Adam Gibbs video? <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I in one? Yeah, there's boundaries. Oh, you're going to get some thumbs down there's now. Boundaries. Yeah. Well, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, if you enjoyed the video. And as always, uh, Who's this guy? <laughs> if you enjoy the content on my channel, uh, you know, hit the subscriber button. I'm just making sure they're not putting any rude gestures behind my. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. It's a really thick rod you've got there. <laughs>
Doesn't really talk to anybody, does he? Oh, he's introverted. More than me and you. Yeah. Oh, is he faffing around with ND filters? I think I saw him use a grad. Did he? Yeah. Who the hell uses those? Who uses grads? Beginners. People who don't know how to use Photoshop. Oh, he just, I heard he uses Luminar. Oh, do you, are you using that AI? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I thought so. Do you use the light beams a lot? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he really likes it. Yeah, he likes it. I've seen your pictures. Yeah. Is that how you got those light beams, that popular image on Flickr that you put on with the light beams? That was. Chasing the light, mate. Was that from Luminar? <laughs> that was from Luminar. It's called Chasing the Light. Yeah. <clears throat> A bit like women. But... Have you got any um, new merch coming out? No, but I've, now that I've got that new logo, I'm going to commit some time to doing some proper merch and really pushing it. I'm coming it. out with hats soon. Yeah? What yeah. kind of hats? Uh, woolly hats. Like that? Like that. Uh, I've got some coming out like this that Karen has knit. They'll, well, be, they'll a bit, be expensive. They'll be a bit more expensive, yeah. but I'm also, I've got some merino wool ones coming yeah. with my logo on them. Oh. And I've also got some uh, baseball caps coming with my logo. Yeah. They'll be nice with a leather patch. Oh, yeah. And uh, they'll be waxed canvas. Proper, oh. proper hats. All right. I might, so, I might get one of those. They'll only be about $1,000 each. Oh, bargain. Well, if you give me one, I'll wear one in my video. Yeah. Once. I know that you've been watching uh, wearing uh, other people's T-shirts. Whose? F64. Well, it's just because he gave me one. And there was another one you were wearing the other day. Out of Chicago? Yeah. Yeah, it's just because they gave it. Oh. I am so cheap that I need T-shirts, so I'll just wear whatever people give to me. <laughs> They're not paying me to advertise. Oh. I just put them on because I need a T-shirt. And it's, it's close to hand. Hmm. Should I be charging them? Definitely. All this time. I'm, I've probably lost at least $22. Yeah, I know. How's your managed camper? Brilliant. Yeah, the only thing I hate is the stairs. Everything else is brilliant. But the stairs are atrocious. But other than that, yeah. Honestly, being able to have a plop and a shower in the middle of nowhere, oh, sweet, sweet luxury. A bit like my van, luxury. Different to your van, different kind of luxury. You know, you won't get killed in the camper like you would in the <laughs> van you know like if it's minus 20 I think uh, uh, Thomas's uh, van's going to be quite posh well it, I mean he's not taking a dump in that is he and having a shower but it's incognito he might get away with you know illegal camping um, yeah he's got one of yours hasn't he he's got a space wagon yeah Yeah. but I think he's going to camperize it better than I have on mine well you did it all yourself didn't you uh, I have to rip it all out. Yeah. I wonder mm. if he gets mice in his like yours. Hantavirus. I've had rat, rats a few times. A few times? Yeah. And you've got four cats? Mm. Three. Oh no. What happened? Have we lost one? No, we always have three. Oh, I thought you had four. <laughs> I, thought I was going to get upset there. No, that was Karen. <laughs> three cats and a Karen. Now, this, this mic might be picking me up. Mm. Or it might be, I might be a little bit quiet. Do you know how to compress the audio so that the signal is like, the quiet bits get louder and the loud bits get... I think so. Yeah, you might want to do that. With I'll this. try. Yeah, if you want some tips, I'll, I'll show you. I get tips off Brian's dad. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's up there. He's, uh, he's committed to the shot, isn't he? He's not a bad photographer, actually. Yeah, is he all right? Not bad. Is he always asking you for tips, though? No, he just does his own thing, so it's great. Yeah, I like it. Just I told you it was a commitment. Like, you've been at that 10 minutes now. And the core's quite big, too, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He's put, like, munching noises over the top of it. <laughs> Should we? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Should we bugger off then? Yeah, let's go. I've had enough of this spot. What time is it? We've been here for like five hours. Really? It's just gone three. Wow. Well, we've, we've been gone about five. Well, hours. this was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So I was quite happy with it. Yeah. You know, oh, if it freezes, 
And as long as the top doesn't freeze over, like if there's just ice around the edges, man, we could get some epic shots. Yeah, I was quite surprised actually. It was, it's nice, it's a nice area. Yeah. How far, did you go down to that? Um... Yeah, it wasn't great. No. This is the best side. Okay. I wouldn't bother with anything. There can't be more stuff like this though around. <clears throat> Yeah, have you been to the Nanaimo River? It's just like this. Yeah. Oh, Maybe cold. we'll do that when it freezes as well, eh? It's supposed to be a cold winter this year. Oh, is it? So okay. we might get a big freeze. Oh, that would be brilliant. Do you want your bag back? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. For Sorry. this riveting... Uh... <laughs> Conversation. Yeah. Well, that got you an extra ad. Yeah, I'd be interested to see. I'll let you know what happens next month.